Isn't it, isn't it weird how we get taxed on the money we make and then we get taxed on the things we buy with the money we make that we've already got taxed on. Isn't it also weird that we get taxed, um, we get property tax every year if you own a house, or in my case, in Missouri, I own a car, so I get taxed, or even I'm leasing. <laughs> Wait, I'm buying this car, never mind. I'm used to leasing. But anyway, you get taxed every year for property tax for something you've already been taxed on when you bought it the first time. Isn't that weird? And then they take our tax dollars or printed money or whatever they do from the Federal Reserve and they send it to other countries. Isn't that weird? And then they don't do nothing that really helps our infrastructure. I'm just saying. You know, I wanna say that um, with my videos, um, I appreciate all the positive comments that I'm getting. And I'm enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying seeing the support and all the new subscribers. That's so awesome. Um, I don't want to get attached to it because I know it could be taken away from me at any time. And I also want to thank the people that are leaving negative comments because you're what you're doing is you're helping my channel. <laughs> and I don't really give a damn what you say. Um, so you can go ahead and keep leaving your negative comments because I'm all about freedom of speech. So if you want to say uh, stupid things about me, I mean, you go ahead. I mean, like my videos, they, like I might have said this in my other video, but yeah, they probably they probably are cringy, and I'm not gonna hit on every single video. I got a couple of videos that um, have gotten a lot of view views, right? Um, and some videos I'm not gonna hit on. Some videos aren't gonna be that funny. Um, it's like when I was listening. I was, I was listening to an interview by um, the Melvin singer King Buzzo and he was saying that um, you're not gonna er, not every song you write is gonna be a hit it's almost like it's finding diamonds in the rough if you think about um, songs most people only like a few songs off of an album they don't like the entire album it's rare to for a person to like the entire album. It happens for sure. Like, I like the whole Nevermind album. Um, there's a lot of songs I, off, I like off of um, what, what Stain album. I forgot what it's called. I don't know. I got a bad memory. Anyway, so like, if people come out and they listen to my music and they think, it's cringe or it sucks. What I want you to understand is a lot of people had a year and a half in America, they got paid more to stay at home, right? And they did nothing with that time. They didn't, they didn't learn anything. They didn't create anything. I worked through the whole thing, right? Um, and I continue to work. Unless I pop off and then no one wants to hire me because I pop off. But, um, this last year, I created like 50 songs, right? And granted, I didn't make the instrumentals, okay? But I wrote the, I wrote the, the, the lyrics, I sang the songs, or I rapped the songs, whatever, screamed them, um, and I wrote a book, I also will say, I took a month off of work, because I just needed to regather myself, um, and I, 
wanted to focus on losing weight. I was going to the gym like five hours every day. Um, and I started writing this book. Not only that, it's, um, I'm making content, man. So I work 40 hours a week. I take care of my kids. I have them full time, 24 seven. So I run a household as well. So I gotta do monotonous chores around the house or go get groceries, whatever crap. Plus, plus I work out too. So I do all of these things, right? And I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to brag. But if, if somebody like criticizes my music, you know, you have every right to. And it's kind of lazy, honestly. Like, the new T Tom McDonald song I covered, it was extremely hard for me because if you see the way I talk, yes, I sound like I got punched in the head uh, a few times, like Rocky Balboa, or I kind of slur some words, almost like Joe Biden, where I kind of uh, take words and, and it kind of goes along with the other words. So I'm definitely not the best speaker out here. Um, I'm well aware of my faults, not being able to pronounce words at certain times. Other times I can do it fine. I mean, it comes to be, with being tongue-tied. And I got the worst memory ever. So if anyone tried to debate me, they'll probably destroy me. Um, well, what I'm trying to say with my music is... is uh, I, cr I do I work this hard I have all this time oh, oh back to the Tom McDonald that's what I, was, that's what I got away from so it, his his I can't rap that fast man and he raps really fast so it's really hard for me to I'm not trying to make excuses but it is hard for me I had to sit here and redo a bar over and over and over again to try to make it sound decent. Um, and some of them sound okay. Some of them sound okay, right? And But some of them are like, uh, they're iffy. If I let it slide, I was like, eh. I'll just let it go because I'm lazy, I guess. I got lazy with it. And um, I, I like the guitars I put in there for the chorus. Uh, and there's a part when I'm screaming, I kind of sound like, eh. but for the most part, I think it sounds pretty solid. Um, it's not perfect, but what you have to understand with my music is, um, I don't have a studio. I don't have anyone helping me. Uh, I record it on my phone with the app on my phone and I use the Xbox headset. Okay. So, I mean, I don't have anything professional. That's, that's first off. Second off, I don't have an extra lot of time because I'm busy as hell. So I do let things slide that I shouldn't let slide because it's not perfect. And I don't have anybody helping me, so I'm I'm doing all this and 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 with my book too. Like, man, I'm gonna get if anybody reads that thing, I'm gonna get brutalized because well, first off, I forgot the table of contents, and then Amazon's like, you forgot the table of contents, and I'm like, I don't care. I just want to get this thing published. Um, what I'm trying to say is. Well, also, I'm a high school dropout with a GED, correct? And I think that's, you know, pretty, I think it's pretty good for someone in, with my background. And you leftists can have your, your way in my comments. I don't care. Oh, uh, you're uneducated. Yeah, because there's only one way to be educated. Um, you guys are great at memorizing things. Bravo. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, um, um, yes, my early stuff, this is my early stuff, right? If you look at, look at, 
go back on Spotify and listen to Nirvana's or Kurt Cobain's first demo. It was called Fecal Matter. And, and listen to that and compare it to Nevermind. Now, Fecal Matter came out in 1986. I'm not trying to compare myself to Kurt. But I'm just using him as an example. Because that guy is way more creative than me. And way better of a guitarist, uh, a songwriter, a uh, melody writer, a uh, performer, uh, artist, everything. But what I want to use him as an example because he wrote that song. He wrote those. He wrote that demo in 1986, right? And I think he probably just used a tape recorder or some kind of... Um, Nothing special, right? It wasn't in no studio like his first album, Bleach, or Nirvana's first album, Bleach. But you can see, if you listen to some of those songs on there, and then you listen to Nevermind in 19, when he made that, I think it's either 1990 or early 1991 when they made that album. That's like four or five years, right? Of him, like, perfecting his craft. Now... Obviously, like a lot of my songs are trash. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. A lot of my songs I could probably redo and they'll be a, a, a hell of a lot better in the future, or I'll, you know, I'll create, a, create some new ones. But the thing is, like, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to boast, I'm not trying to boast, but like, when, when these people like criticize. What they have to understand is there's like potential, right? There's potential. You know, so yeah, maybe I put out mediocre crap. Maybe I put out a mediocre book or a shitty ass book. Um, or, or my music is just shit. Maybe I did. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe my videos are shit, you know, but maybe they'll get better. When people start out with something, and like I said, go ahead and criticize. I don't care. All you're doing when you criticize is add more traction to my videos, and I thank you. But what I'm what I want people to understand, and I if this ever does get out to anybody else, and anybody else is thinking about creative things and they're and they're worried about criticism, is this is probably common knowledge. But when you start something, you're not going to be an expert at it overnight. It's going to take some time for you to understand some things. Um, look at your mistakes and do better next time, right? And that's what you have to understand. And, and, and like I tell my kids... Whatever art that you're into right now, whether it's painting or uh, making music or videos or whatever the hell it is, just look at it as a hobby. Don't look at it as a livelihood until it's paying for your um, your your life. It's just a hobby. Like mine, my endeavors right now are all hobbies. This right here is a hobby. Um, and I want to say another thing too, like about family, you know, there was always this saying, there was always this saying about fan, blood is thicker than water. And, and I just, <clears throat> at this day and age, I just don't believe that. I think if somebody's toxic in your life or they're not going to support you, what the things that make you happy in a constructive manner, then, then let them go. Who cares? Like, I'm at the point in my life where I don't want to get attached to anyone or anything. I'm just trying to, I have a lot of personal struggles, um, but it's not any more than some, like there's a lot of people that on this planet who have way 
bigger struggles than me. I can't even fathom the the struggles that they are going through. And I'm and being in this country in America, compared to those folks, we're all privileged. It doesn't matter how poor you are, we're all privileged compared to them. Even when I'm in here complaining about the system that we have. We're still more privileged than those folks. Because some, some of those people are starving to death. And I don't think people understand. And including me. I mean I know what hunger is like. I went four days without eating before. By me doing it purposely. But. I don't think people understand. Not a lot of people get to skip meals here in America. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if, if family doesn't want to support you, leave them behind. Like, for me, if... If, for instance, if my family were embarrassed about these videos that I'm putting out, um, uh, uh, that's cool. I, I would, you know, that's fine. Like, I don't have to associate you with you anymore. If you, if you're, if you feel that way, I can change my name, and I don't ever have to talk to any of them again. I'm fine with that. Um, it would be unfortunate, but. And I know it sounds sad, and it sounds cold on my behalf, but if they ever were like, no, like, dude, I'm just, I'm just, even, even though I'm making myself look like a clown on the internet, and I'm showing my vulnerability, which I don't ever let people that I don't know get to know my sense of humor, and I'm showing it, even if it's like, cringe on here or I sound like stupid my whole thing is I'm trying to get a point across right and I definitely want a lot of people to see it if I didn't then I would just be performing in front of a in front of the wall for no nothing for nobody to see Um, yeah, so, like, anybody that's, like, any, any, any person that says they, when they put out stuff on here, and they say, I don't want attention, they're lying. They definitely want exposure to whatever they're doing. Um, I don't want to be that famous. You don't have to be, dude. You can go away. Think about how big some sports stars were back in the nineties or the seventies. And nobody even nobody even really nobody even cares. Like you can even a lot of people know who follow sports know even the mediocre people's names, right? Those mediocre people aren't going to be thought of 10 years from now. They're going to be forgotten. The only people that are going to, are going to be remembered are going to be the elite at the top. And it's not going to be as big as it is now. You could even see Michael Jordan. I remember watching Michael Jordan was everywhere when I was in the 90s. And then now it's just like it's hardly anything because he's not he's not on that elite where he was like you know what I mean like he doesn't have the exposure like he was and people forget about you so if you're a person of fame like honestly if I blew up and and no one in America wanted to hire me after me blowing up on the internet. Hypothetically, if that did happen, I appreciate how far I've come. I have a video that has 250,000 views. And that to me on YouTube, that to me is amazing. I think that's awesome. 
other creators would be like, that ain't shit. But for me, being a random person, make something that got that many many views, that's almost borderline um, viral. To me, that's huge. Because it came from nothing. It came from my, my imagination. It came from my creativity. But there's nothing stopping me from going to another country and surviving there. If nobody wants to hire me here. I can go and be forgotten about. I'll just gotta, Or I can just leave the internet for a couple of years and people forget about me. Maybe change my hairstyle. Change things up. Maybe a couple of people will recognize. But it's like. Dude, you can you can change your name. You can change even you can even change your your identity. Like you can change everything. I could say um, I, I have to be careful what I say here. I don't want to get my channel banned. But I could say I'm somebody else that I could present to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like you can change that stuff, and no one even even whatever. If you don't want to be famous no more. So. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. I'm going to go in here and work out. Um, again. I want to thank. Probably no, no one really watches these videos. Which is fine. That's cool. But anybody that watches these videos. I appreciate your support. Um, you listening to me rant. About random things. And I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers. It's awesome. Um, my channel was like dead in the water. I had like 245 su subscribers for like five years running. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, I, I'm at like 800 in like two weeks because of one video, which is cool, which is cool. I'm happy about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm happy where I'm at. And if it gets bigger, if it gets more and more, that'd be amazing. That that would be awesome. But if it doesn't, you know, I, I appreciate the fact that I made music. It's out there. And they could they could delete it if they want, whatever. But I made that. I contributed. I made a book that can be deleted too. I made these videos that can be deleted too, but. I think I've done a lot more than the average person. Even if it doesn't get... And none of my, my music or um, my book gets traction. That's cool. But I've done it. I tried. At least I tried, right? And... Because I, I feel like the, the whole working... Um, a regular job was just never meant for me. Having a family was never meant for me. Um... But I appreciate I appreciate my kids. They helped me grow up big time. And I, I sacrificed a lot for them to have, I think, a little bit better of a upbringing than me. My, my upbringing wasn't terrible. It wasn't. Um, but they have a little bit more, I feel like, guidance than I had. Um, Nothing against like the like the boomers just don't know what the hell they're doing. Honestly, like they just, especially their parents didn't know what the hell they were doing. Um, and I didn't even know what the hell I was doing when I started. <laughs> I mean, honestly, but we got the internet now, so there's no reason to not know, not take advice. Like, so um, I have one more thing I want to say. Um, but I can't think because my mind. I'm probably, you know, I'll probably get the Neuralink because if that helps with dementia, because I'm not going to have, I don't want, I do not want dementia. I do not want to, if I survive to old age, I do not want to rely on anybody. I do not, I do not want anybody taking care of me. Um, I'm not that type of person, but yeah. <laughs> um, I know there's people like, oh, you're going to get the Neuralink. Yeah, probably. Probably will. I think most people will get it. Um, 
We'll see though. We'll see what happens. We we I think we're gonna keep progressing as a, as a as a as a people, as a civilization. Dude, I gotta shut up before this ends up too long.